Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the image sources to import image flow plans in Mapwise. So let's get started and head to Mapwise Studio. So when you're in Mapwise Studio, we can go to the flow plan sources section. And there you can import multiple sources, including PNG files. So I will go ahead and drag and drop an image file directly in the studio window. The image will be uploaded. Then we have a small processing on the server side. And then the first step is to georeference the image. So I will use those pins to actually move the points of the image on the outdoor world. I can click on the pin to move it around and specify which point will be the one that will be used as a reference. And so that pin point will be fixed whenever the other pin is moving, allowing you to specify precisely how to align your image. You can use multiple image qualities. So we have the low, medium or high resolution that will allow you to, um, uh, to either go for an easygoing, uh, quick align or a more high quality one, uh, but that will put more constraint on your brother. You can display multiple things. You can specify the opacity of your own source, uh, of your own image. You can decide to switch to set satellite view versus the, uh, the street view. And you can also decide to display other floors that you've already imported before so that you can really align it properly uh, across those multiple floors. And if you want to align sources uh, between each other, um, from the sources of the same type, you could use this, this uh, section to actually align sources together. So let's say that I'm happy with this alignment. I can go and hit the save button. Then I will go to the configuration. The configuration will first ask me which floor this is. So this is floor three. I can select one or multiple universes. Universe allow you to create multiple views of your building. There's dedicated uh, web videos uh, on that. You can also decide to publish or unpublish. Unpublished sources are not visible to anyone. Um, specify an order if you have multiple images that are overlapping each other. Um, and then specify minimum and maximum zoom visibility. So zoom visibility allow you to create effects like this, where depending on how much you zoom, you actually change the images to give different rendering. So here I'll stick to the standard configuration and I'll save that and I will launch the import. So then the source will import, create all the different uh, tiles that's gonna be done directly on the, on the server side. Now the source has a name, which is by default taken as the name of the file that you just uploaded, uh, but you can also decide to edit the name. So if I say here, this is floor three source, I can save it and then it will be saved. So that's it. Now you know how to create an image. Thanks for watching.